Hello, everybody. I want to talk about avocados. A lot of people keep asking me, even though I have so many videos about avocados and what's the best type of avocados to have, I want to tell everybody, I just took this off my tree, and it is huge. Look at this. Avocado season is here, and by that I mean uh, not many avocados around January, February, March, even April and May. But come June, July, August, you start getting into the avocado season. And there's early, there's mid, and there's late season of the avocados. And people always ask which avocados are the best trees to plant, especially if you're in an area where you can grow avocados. Now, if you're in an area that's north of where I am in South Florida, uh, you want to make sure the avocado you get is a cold, hearty avocado so it'll grow where you, excuse me, where you are. I just ate that. It was amazing. But down here, at least, I could tell you that a lot of the avocados are better than the store-bought avocados. If you go to the local store here, you'll get Dominican uh, big avocados, which they refer to as Florida avocados. But they really are watery. They don't have a good flavor. And a lot of the well-known avocados here, uh, you have things like Choquette and Monroe, which are later season avocados, and even some of the mid-season ones. Uh, they're not as watery, but they're also not as creamy, and they don't have as much flavor. But I've identified uh, several avocados that I definitely recommend growing uh, for the seasons, and I've seen uh, websites recommend a lot of those so-so ones. And when I say so-so ones, uh, some of the things that make them just so-so is not only are they just watery, uh, but they're inconsistent. Sometimes they might be amazing, sometimes they may not. They might not a fruit every year, uh, but there are some that are solid fruiters, they're, they're, they're very consistent, they taste amazing, and these are the ones that uh, I would suggest or recommend. This And taste can be subjective, uh, but more so with other things like mangoes and things like that. When it comes to avocados, it's, it's pretty much universally known if one's good, one's good, if one bad, one's bad, but we are in early season. And uh, I'm not into the ro uh, into the, the Donny avocados. I absolutely don't like the Donny. Uh, some people that like the Donny, they say you got to leave it on a tree longer. Well, if you got to leave it on a tree longer, it defeats the purpose of getting it early. So I just had this. Now I've had the the Simmons avocado before, and not much before, but this one's right off my tree. And absolutely a pleasant surprise. Amazing. I'm so glad I got. A Simmons avocado tree. This is probably the top early avocado I'd recommend. I also have uh, an avocado I tasted last year, which is an early one. It's called Dupuis. Dupuis is uh, not as well known, but and, and I don't know if it's as, as good of a, a producer as the Simmons, but it's delicious. It's delicious. Dupuis is good. And then you start getting into the mid-season ones. And I tasted Miguel recently again, and they, I would say it's a little inconsistent, and in, in, in it's good flavor, but more inconsistent. But I have a Catalina that I've had. I really enjoy the Catalina. And Improved Pollock is a mid-season one, and, 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 and that's nice. And then you're going to start getting to the later season ones. And my uh, Oro Negro is... is Delicious. I love it. Probably my favorite tasting one, but it's not the best producer every year from what I understand. Uh, Ronnie is a one that's excellent. Not Donnie, but Ronnie's a great late, probably the latest one that'll last the longest. Uh, Maria Black is a, is, a, is a mid avocado that's really nice. I like that. And my favorite's been Campong for late season Campong. So those are some, some of the ones that I would recommend. I know there's a lot there, but these are the top ones that I would recommend. So Simmons or Dupuis, and I probably, I, I don't know about the consistency of Dupuis. The one, the one I had the one time was excellent, but I don't know about the consistency of it. But if they're all like the one I had, that's, that's great. When I say consistency, I mean growing and also taste-wise. But Simmons, you can't go wrong with Simmons. Amazing. And mid-season, I would say Improved Pollock or Maria Black or something like this. 
And then late season, you got the Campong or the Oro Negro. And then late, late season, the Rani. These are top-notch avocados. Now, there's one avocado I haven't tasted yet, and I will soon this season. It's the Day Avocado, which I hear is amazing. I haven't tasted it yet. So I'll taste that soon. Anybody watching that has a Day Avocado tree and you want me to come on out and try them, let me know. Uh, but besides that, I just wanted to get on here and tell everybody, if you're looking for one avocado tree, uh, try to get maybe one for each season. Simmons Avocado Tree is a winner, and I definitely recommend it. And, and yeah, so put your comments and questions below. Let me know what you think about avocados, what your favorite one is. But this is the first time I'm really sitting down and having a Simmons, and it happens to be from my tree. I just tasted a slice of one in the past, and it is creamy. It's wonderful. And I hear they're very consistent in flavor, so that's wonderful as well. All right, everybody, put your comments, questions below. And I just wanted to encourage you of what to get. There's a lot of avocados out there. So in this video, instead of saying what not to get, <laughs> I'll say what to get. Simmons, Dupuy, Catalina, Oro Negro, Campong, Ronnie. I know I'm leaving something out. Possibly day. Possibly day. I don't know. I can't vouch for that one 100% yet. But these are excellent varieties. Improved Pollock. They just taste really wonderful. All right, everybody. Have a great day and keep growing.